Over the vast history of this earth, many great empires have been erected and have crumbled. Ancient Greece, Rome, the Aztecs, Great Britain, the effects of which can still be seen in our society today. But every great nation needs a great leader. Adolf Hitler, Joseph Stalin, Colonel Sanders, and Theodore Roosevelt, just to name a few. But what do all these great leaders have in common? They all have wicked facial hair, mustaches to be specific. However, one man aimed to change the visual stereotype of world leaders. This man was none other than Uncle Fester. I've just been informed that uh, that's not Uncle Fester, but it's uh, actually Benito Mussolini. The Moose, or Benito Mussolini for short, was in the Socialist Party of Italy during World War I, but his party was heavily against fighting and said they should pull out. Mussolini said that they should fight because they can get some solid monetary gains out of the battle. The Socialist Party took the high road and booted him from the party. Out of spite of the Socialist Party, Mussolini formed the Fascist Party of Italy, or, uh, uh, that. Then in 1919, they started hosting fascist rallies where everyone wore black like the edgelords they are. In March 1919, he was put in power of Italy. With his recent rise to power, the Moose was hungry for more. Driven by a desire for world domination, good old Mussolini wanted to invade Ethiopia. Then Mussolini was all like, let's build a wall wall to keep out the Ethiopians. Italy established Fort Wall Wall near the border of the two countries. The Ethiopians said that this was mean, and then went to go tell them to leave. But then Italy was all like, pew pew, and killed a bunch of Ethiopians. But then the League of Nations was all like, no, you can't do that, you silly. And then Mussolini was all like, farewell, good sirs. And then he quit the League. Italy still wanted Ethiopia, so they went to war. In the war, Italy was outnumbered roughly 3 to 1. But that didn't matter, because most of the Ethiopian army only had spears and bows to attack the Italians. But uh, they had some guns but they were all from the 1800s, and they were much worse than Italy's guns. Basically, Ethiopia got completely and utterly annihilated. During the fight, Italy decided it was, it was pretty boring just to beat all these people who were completely unarmed, so they used poison gas to speed things up. Mussolini said, It was only lethal in 1% of cases, but a bunch of Ethiopians died anyways. Whoops. In the end, about 750,000 Ethiopians died. After the war, Italy decided to take an elongated vacation in Ethiopia to try and make it Italian territory. This lasted until the end of World War II, and they were forced to give it up by the victors of war. Speaking of World War II... When the Moose joined forces with the uh, Hitler, they were a match made in heaven. Or the opposite of that, like heck or something like that. But during one of their many play dates, they decided they wanted to play Operation. Operation 25, to be precise. Operation 25 was the code name given to the invasion of Yugoslavia that began on the 6th of April 1941. Basically, Yugoslavia got the short end of the stick. By stick, I mean gun. They got obliterated. <laughs> it finally ended when the Royal Yugoslav Army surrendered a short 11 days later. After World War II, basically the entire world was mad at Mussolini. His dream of becoming the Italian Julius Caesar was quickly fading. He was surrounded by the Allies and anti-fascists, so he decided to make a run for it. He tried to disguise himself and jump a caravan, but when the caravan was stopped in Dongo... Wait, Dongo? Is that actually what it's called? <laughs> okay, well, those guys didn't work out very well, Mussolini was executed by firing squad at the end. <laughs>